so yeah, I, uh, I found you on YouTube. I really love your content. So, um, yeah, I've been watching your daily videos every day. So uh, one issue I have on this client account is that it's doing really poorly. Okay. Um, so this month we are at a 0.48. And so we sure. are spending around $200 a day. Um, and basically they sell like face serums and soaps and things like that. Um, so yeah, I, I've been testing out a lot of different things. Um, so I've been doing like prospecting campaigns for my prospecting. I'm using a lot of like, um, what they call, I think user generated content, like influencer sure. talking about different products and things like that for the copy. I use like a quote 15% off on the headline. Those are the type of ads I'm using. Yeah. Um, I got that for prospecting and then, um, I got this other campaign for max, but it's not doing that well. I got a DPA campaign, dynamic product campaign. Uh -huh. Um, this has been converting pretty well. Uh, on average it's, 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 um, you know, lifetime it's doing pretty well. Um, right. and then I got retargeting, retargeting. I'm doing, so I took, I took on this account like a month ago. So I'm 30 days in on this account. And so, um, they have some retargeting set up. So ATC, I got page view and view content. Um, the ATC they have set up, they have a bunch with, um, abandonment cart as well as website visitors. And it's been doing really well. So I haven't been touching it. They're using like, um, some kind of dynamic creative. Um, but yeah, this is uh, just a quick overview of the account and the, the company website is basically marionella.co. Um, this is the website. Um, and, uh, perfect. Yeah. So I have a, I have some recommendations. Um, you mind if I request access? Yes. Uh, do I have to, would yeah, like just to hit open system preferences. Okay. If it's possible for you to share access, you just click the um, lock icon in the bottom left and then you just type in um, your password, then you'd select zoom. Yep. There you go. Select zoom. And that's it. That's it. Yep. Okay. Perfect. That's all we needed. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look again. And I also um, have a lot of campaigns. I, I turned off a bunch cause it wasn't doing well. I have a bunch more down there. Um, but re yesterday, yesterday I have these two testing campaigns. Um, using those influencers and uh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's good. Um, yeah, that adds is nice. So you should, what is this one here? Oh, you split all these out. This is covering product features. Okay. So with this one specifically, this campaign here that you have on the retargeting, you should cut this one. Um, just turn this one off because you spent like $120 no purchases and you should move this $15 into this one. Okay. So make this $30, cut this one because like 120, no purchases. This one has three and you're getting purchases. So you should just move the rest of the budget into here. Make sense? Okay. And then for this, you have one ad here. Let's see what this is. Is this the same product? No, it's different. Same different company product. though? Yeah, same company, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, so what you could do here is uh, take this one, add that ad you have, in here and then put it in the rest of these. You want all of the ads in each audience. So that ad should be in all of your audiences as well. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Put that mask in all these. Do you think if I do a $5, if I do a $5 ad set level budgeting, is it, is it enough to fund two creatives or do you think it's best practice to keep one creative for a $5 one? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So put in both and then 
I just launched this last last night, by the way, at 12, 12, 12 a.m. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Just, and then, yeah, put that mask ad in here and then like get another ad in here as well. Like you should have a few more because do you know if this one gets purchases? Mm -hmm. do, oh, you do? It does get purchases? Yeah. So, so um, yeah, if you, if you look at just lifetime, this is like, um, yeah, I've had like three purchases on this one, I think. Um, Why does this retargeting have so many purchases, but all of a sudden has none? Yeah. What changed? It's all coming from the add to cart. It's all coming from the add to cart. Um, the add to cart ad set. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So the three purchases came from where? So uh, let me just sh let me just show you real quick how I found it. So I just looked at lifetime. This one right here, um, we use like Facebook payment users as the, as the targeting and this got like three, um, $7 a piece. And uh, yeah, so it's just, I, I, I just changed the discount code. So the discount code was like, uh, it was like summer 15, but I changed the welcome. So this, this is the same copy, same, same image. So this is the one. Okay. Yeah. You need a few more ads that you should launch. Um, I'm also using this one too. I'm also running this one as well. The body the oil. Feature. Oh yeah. The Rosewood body oil. I'm also running that on a separate campaign for a, for a separate testing campaign. So I have one testing campaign for the Royal and a separate campaign for the, uh, the Rosewood body oil. So which products getting the most purchases on the site right now? Um, right now it's subscriptions. Um, so if you go here, uh, products, I think it's like, um, um, where is it? They sell a lot of, they sell a lot of sanitizers, but we can't, I don't think we can promote sanitizers on Facebook right now. Right. Okay. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. So they have this uh, subscription box that they've been selling a lot of. Um, yeah. Let's see it on the site. The subscription box. Those are doing quite well. Subscription boxes. Yeah. So find it real quick. I promoted it. I got one purchase last night on a separate campaign, but I haven't been getting much traction on it. Um, I think it's like these subscription boxes. Oh, I got yeah. you. That's cool. All right. Yeah. Go back one. Go back to uh, where there are other subscription boxes. Um, this is the main one. Um, let me see. Let's yeah, because sometimes it's easier. You can get more subscriptions whenever you show multiple boxes. Um, and they can choose from them. Unlike when you show multiple products on a page, it's you have less conversions, but with subscriptions, when you show multiple types of subscription boxes, you get a lot more sales. But if that's the number one seller, like let's go back to that ad real quick. I mean that uh, page. Yeah. Okay. This one here. So, so this is called the indulge me box. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And then it also includes the hammer box or how does that work? Um, you choose. Yeah, you think, I think you choose it, I think. Yeah, you can either choose the pamper me or the- Oh, that's indulge. perfect. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, so cool. Uh, so you should make an ad that's like the headline that is the indulge me box and then a, um, another ad that is the, the pamper me box. So that way you can test both of them. Um, and then like do a carousel of all the items that are Actually, better yet, you could just do it the single image that just highlights all of them in there. Um, I actually have a slideshow. I have a slideshow video for the subscription box. Perfect. Uh, um, we used it. Uh, they kind of banned it. I don't know why. 
Facebook um, kind of uh, banned the ad, but then I think maybe it's the copy. I'm not sure. I used it on another occasion at work, but then a couple of days ago, I used it again. They, it got banned for some reason. So, yeah, it was like a slideshow video. Um, yeah. So that's one. Um, you should also find out what uh, the other bestsellers are and then like test those ads. So like, let's say this is your bestseller example. Then you would also test like this ad specifically with, you know, testing it with single images and whatnot and using the actual like description as like part of the copy and then doing the headline as the actual title of the product. And you're going to start seeing a lot more sales. And then with them having enough site visitors, you should switch to, I mean, you might already be doing this, but focusing on lookalikes. Yeah. I'm using like lookalikes off of like purchasers off of repeat buyers. Yeah. Now that you have all these launched, you should have a lot more ads in each of them. So that way you can actually see what's selling. So take like the best sellers and then literally just make the product ad as like direct as possible. Because like if people want to buy it, they're going to buy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually had another campaign. Um, so prior to this, I had like a bunch of winner campaigns with, super lookalikes off of CBO. So I was doing a hundred dollars CBO campaign and then I was stacking a bunch of lookalikes on the ad set level. So like high value list purchasers, Shopify, um, you know, any, any kind of, um, high value lookalike audiences. And then I was stack like four different creatives four different UGC videos off the, each different products, by the way, each mm -hmm. different kind of product off, you know, influencers, like celebrities that are well-known. Um, and how to do. And, and so I'll, I'll show you, right? Like I'll show you the performance we see on this one. Um, so I spent around, I think around 41 bucks and I got like six link clicks. I mean, I ran it for like half a day and it didn't really get much traction. Um, yeah, you probably need to run it longer as well though. What do, you, what do you think? What, how long do you think I should run this for? I'd give it a few more days, but at the same time, I probably wouldn't stack everything in the same thing to start. I would do it how you have no. it in the other. I was set. To, right off the bat, I was trying to scale this thing using lookalikes, but the thing is, um, a lot of the, when I was just stacking it like this, it wasn't doing that well. No, it doesn't work unless you have those audiences working. Like, I would stack, like, let's say you're getting a lot of purchases. Let's say you're getting like, 23 purchases from this one per week and you're stuck in learning and then you're getting 22 in this one and you're st stuck in learning and then you're getting like 17 in this one and you're stuck in learning all are getting good purchase costs and they're all getting a good return then you take those three because none of them have gotten 50 to exit learning you'd stack them because you know they're you know performing well you like the results you put all three in here and then you'd exit learning with the exact budget because you consolidate it all and that's where you'd see the performance work Right. And if you're going to do value based, another thing would be, I mean, if you're going to use value, you should just switch to high value, uh, optimizations. What, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I was going to show you, but it didn't let me do the drop down there. So like, let me just duplicate and then we can discard the draft. Let's see if it's available here. So like the benefit of having high value lookalikes, if you're going to use high value lookalikes, you might as well use the high value optimization event. You don't have it right now um, because you got to get 50 purchases at least or a hundred or something like that um, to get access to this. But like, that's when you would do this. So you did it too early, which is why you don't see like good performance, but you also didn't let it run long enough. So that's another reason why. Interesting. So moving forward, that's what you'll know on that side. And then like, so use value, use value instead of the conversion. Yeah. Whenever you're ready to stack and all that. Okay. And also whenever you're trying to get a high return on ad spend and get a lot of results. Now, do you mind if we like do an ad for an example? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Perfect. So we'll just duplicate this and we'll, what's the best seller on the site again, besides the box, just in case I don't want I mean, if it's not approved yet, we don't know what's another one we can do. We can do the rosewood. Um, go down a little bit. Um, go down. This one. This one's. We have a creative for this. That. This, that's exact video that we're using right now. The rosewood litzia. 
which is a uh, so let me show you what is it it's like a body oil okay uh, this one this this is their famous product the nice. rosewood liquid body oil perfect they got they got a two ounce oh they only got the four ounce so yeah sixty eight dollars four ounce yeah. awesome sweet that's great so Cool. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, let's go ahead and uh, you have this image in the ad account. Yeah, the, we had the video, um, but we also screenshot the video, uh, the image as well. But um, so let's go ahead and do the image of that one. Yeah, we probably have to screenshot of anything. We take a screenshot of this. If you open this up, you'll get the full size, and then. Save that image. Yeah, so the content's really good here. It's just a matter of like, do you know where it's at? Yeah. I don't know where it saves for you. Um, what? What? Uh, wait. No. Uh, downloads. I think maybe. Uh, what was it saved as again? Here's how I do it. Uh, it might be easier for you to just do list. And then once you do list, just organize it by date modified. And then it should actually be right there as Rosewood, but it might be on your desktop. So there it is. Yeah. So I, I organize it by list and just do date modified and it always pops up if you need it. Um, and then continue. Literally just keeping this as simple as you see, <laughs> you wouldn't believe how much this would work. Um, really? Yeah, really. Yeah, we're selling like high value, like products like these that are like $268, $100 that like that, that are pretty high in the return ad spend jumps to like 14 X and it's just like a white background. Like, really? you know, most people would just be like, what in the world? Like, no way, but it does, it works because Think about it, like look at this ad here. As soon as you click it, what's the first thing you see? The exact yeah. same thing. Exactly. And then if you just keep this here and you make this your headline, and you, you have 15% off for all of these, right? Yeah, 15% off all of them, yep. Oh, is there any way we can shorten this headline? That's quite a long. Yeah, we could, we could shorten it to Rosewood Body Oil of anything. We could just make it like that. Will people know? Yeah. I mean, as long as we just keep it um, rosewood or even rosewood and litzia body oil. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. And let's do it lowercase as well. Okay. Because Facebook's not a big fan of the whole all caps thing. Yeah. So go ahead and do that. So all, all, all lower caps. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then just first letter, of course, will be. Like that? Uh, go ahead and make sure these letters are capitalized though for the product. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, fifteen percent off. Is that still allowed? Yep. Fifteen. Okay, so you want to put the. Code welcome. Like that. Yeah, but uh, there's actually another way we do this that is gets a lot of results. So you could do 15% off, use code. Oops. Welcome. Okay. Like that. See, it's a little bit easier to read, right? 15% off, that's obvious, than the use code welcome part. Okay. And then we just add one. Oh, we just add one of these to break mm -hmm. it up, make it a little bit easier. So now you got your fifteen percent off. You're going to use your code welcome. And as soon as they see the rosewood and litzia body oil, it's the first thing they're going to see up here. They're going to see the product, um, and they're going to also get the subs. Oh, this is if you subscribe, though, right? Yeah. What happens if you add the code for the one-time purchase? 
just a one-time purchase. Um, can you put in the welcome code? Yeah, you can put in a welcome code. Yep. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. And then uh, for the description or the uh, actual like main piece of copy. Mm -hmm. So it's easiest just to take the information from here. Mm -hmm. Take it and use it for the text. Yeah, but you got to break it up to make it a little bit easier to read. So it's not like too like blocky. Right. You could do uh, this right here. Um, that's really long though. We need to cut this up a little bit better. So take this, copy that, paste it, and then we're going to grab a different piece and we're going to, you know, change it up. Go ahead and drop that on the ad in the drop 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 this line right here yeah and then yeah remove all that yeah exactly then yep and then go back to the ad here i mean the page and then we're going to grab this copy this and then we're going to change it up once you paste it okay Okay, and then we're just gonna go, oh, gonna bring this up. And then, body oil is the ultimate luxury for your body. So our refreshing rosewood and litia, I don't know how to say that word, body oil is the ultimate luxury for your body. Mm -hmm. It's simple, it doesn't go to the next line. And honestly, you could add an emoji if you wanted to. I don't know if that's necessary. Um, seems like they have a professional brand, so probably not. Uh, then that's that for that portion. Like it's that straightforward. Then for this website URL, you shouldn't have your FB clit IDs in there either for your URLs next time. Um, We'll take this. I don't know what that is. We want to leave that up in case that's dynamic and then we'll see if we need it. I'm going to paste this in here. We're going to open up another tab because I want to first confirm if that actually works. Yeah. Perfect. It did. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Sweet. And then, uh, that looks good. Display link's fine. Shop now. That's like your ad. It's that simple. It's that straightforward. Um, and literally like that's going to be an ad that you can use. And then what you do next is create another ad. And so we just publish this. Yeah, you want us to publish? Yeah, let's publish it. Okay. And then what we're going to do is here, you want to hit publish. I don't know why it's not doing it. Give me one second. Let me just uh, fix the title right here. Um, yep. And then I'm going to Okay. And now what you'll do is uh, all you got to do is hit copy here. You see that? Yeah. Then we're just going to click the next one and we're going to do this paste. See how it's duplicating. It goes into the next audience. Yeah. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit publish and after it published, we're going to hit edit. So now that it's published in this next audience, we're going to hit edit. 
And we're first going to go here. We're gonna hit Facebook post with comments. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go look at this ad. We're gonna like it just for our sake so we can see. Then we're gonna come here and make sure that the like shows up. Let's refresh. Confirm that the like shows up. Yep, mm -hmm. it showed up. And now what we're gonna do is do this drop down. We're gonna hit use existing post. Okay. It's automatically gonna switch it over with the post ID. You don't have to copy the post ID. You don't have to do anything. Now it's gonna lock this ad in place. Mm -hmm. And now any like that comes through, it's gonna stack and you're gonna build momentum this way because as more and more people are engaging, as more and more people are coming through, it's gonna allow you to like build momentum with this one, right? Gotcha. And now we're gonna hit publish a second time. Chase, quick question. So um, I've used this strategy in the past with existing posts. How do you stack it even faster? Do, do you use like- Just that way. So now that I just did it, now hit copy and look, we're gonna select all for the rest of these. Unselect the two we already have it in. Here's the rest of them. Command V, you're done. That's it. It stacked them all. Okay. We just stacked it all. See how it's there? I just showed you the quickest way to do it. Okay. Yeah. That's it. It's done. All of them have been stacked. I do that for videos too. Any videos that I do, you use that for videos I do use too, right? Yeah. That's a much quicker way to do it because okay. it's now done. <laughs> and you can confirm like just by checking. Okay. That it's all there. It's all stacked. Super fast, super easy. Now that one's done. Okay. Got it? Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Got that. And obviously for the other one, I'm going to create another one similar to, so that one I have the uh, Rosewood body oil. This one's the Royal Kalahari. So similar to here, I have the influencer and then I can also do like a set another ad with just a, the, the background photo the white, the white photo of just a product and do the same thing, right? Yeah, what's that one called? This is the Royal Kalahari. You wanna show me that one? Yeah. This is the $90 price point, uh, Royal Kalahari face serum. Basically like this. Got it. Yeah. So, yeah, you just do the same thing for this one too. Okay. okay yeah, exactly. Interesting, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Let me see what else I got. And then um, I might build another campaign. So for the, for the subscription boxes, you think uh, maybe I should set up a separate, because I have it by product. You see here, it's like, I have an ABO, it's all ads at low budgeting, and it's like um, by product. Cause um, I, I don't know, I don't know like if I should put like different products here or should I just keep it within the same products or? Yeah, do different products in each audience. Different products within each audience? Like, yeah. like for this, you think I should just, because I'm scared like the $5 won't spread out to too many creatives. If it's $5, I should just limit to maybe two or one creative maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, because CBO didn't really work that well for me, to tell you the truth. A lot, a lot of yeah, you don't want to switch to it until you yeah. have enough purchases. Yeah. I thought this is like a safer way to do it. You know, f test $5, maybe keep it within two creatives. And if it works, then I might uh, turn it into a, like a CBO campaign and scale it with super lookalikes like that. Um, but yeah, I, I was just curious to know, like, what do you think the structure should be for the account? Um Cause right now only I can only spend like 200 a day. I can, I'm, I'm only, I'm maxing out $200 a day right now. So yeah, I'm trying That's to be, fine. A, yeah. Yeah. So now that you have those in there, I mean, like you could do one for this one as well, which has that product in here, same process. Mm -hmm. You should also with this retargeting, where is that one here? With them having this many different products, is this a dynamic? Yeah, dynamic, dynamic product ad. I 
I see. Yeah, so uh, what you could also do is duplicate this audience. Mm -hmm. Duplicate it. Here's a way to make your retargeting for dynamic a little bit better. Then uh, do a, uh, for this here, do the last 14, the one that it has. Mm -hmm. Then for your, then for your uh, ad for this one, mm -hmm. we'll edit this and we'll just go here. Delete this, hit the plus sign. And now Just show up. Hey there, we see you're interested in the glow gift set, but didn't complete your purchase. Uh -huh. It's a little bit more relevant, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, should, I do that? should I do that for the existing one too? Uh, you can test both. Oh, okay. And then like, rather than we're sorry to see you go because they're not going anywhere, but to the add to cart to check out to get us to get another purchase. So we're not sorry to see them go. We're sorry. We're happy to see them come back. You, got, you know, yeah. we're, we're, we're happy that they're about to make another purchase because we were fortunate enough to show them another ad that was relevant for them. Um, perfect. And then, uh, so that's this one. And then we're going to duplicate this exact thing. We need to duplicate this. Oh, it's not going to let us put in a new ad set. It's going to force it to go in the same one. Yeah, I don't know why that is. I think that's just how DPAs are. I don't know. Okay. Um, well, in that case, then we're going to switch this up another one, uh, another time. So with this, we'll then uh, choose... We need to make it a single image for this one. Just because since we're naming the product that they added to cart, uh -huh. we don't want them to see another product that they didn't. So just because they viewed it, we just want them to see the one product that they're interested in. Right. Perfect. Yep. 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 And then, yeah, that's good. And you're done here for this one. That'll be a single image for this, this one instead. Okay. So I, so I use this for the 14 days and then the other one, the 180 days, should I switch it up too, or should I just leave? No, it you can leave it alone. Okay. Okay. Because also for the 14 days, you want to make sure it's more relevant, right? Whereas 180 sure. days, you make it. Okay, got it. Yeah, exactly. This one will capture the people who were super relevant. The other one will leave it open. Got it. Yeah, that'll really help with the uh, lifting sales, and you'll get a lot lower cost per result in this one. Um, and then, like, like I said, like double this to 30. Okay. And then I don't know if you want to publish that or... Let's publish it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Cool. All right. Perfect. And then essentially like this mask one, I mean, yeah, I guess you can leave that one alone, but the other one, you need to add that other ad in here as well. Okay. And then, um, Rokalari, right? 
Yeah, let's look at this one more time. I forget how you had this set up. You have these things mixed. So So that they have a video just I, I I they have a video that has like almost I think 100k viewers video viewers and uh I just built like a 95% video viewers and then I stacked the lookalikes on those. Um, so that's what that is. Um, yeah. So, I mean, like they have a pretty high returning customer rate. Like you could also even retarget people who've already purchased. Really? Uh, yeah. So like you could do like for the dynamic retargeting, um, it was really a good way to, raise results as well on this campaign. If we go back in here, uh, we'd want to do a separate campaign for this though. So let's just hit duplicate. And then we'll do new campaign. I don't know what you want to name it. You want to name it? Um, DPA. Um, separate DPA campaign, right? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be for people who've already purchased, so it's going to be like cross-selling them. Awesome. Is this the correct catalog? Uh, yes. Okay. So now that we're doing this, because like she has such a high returning customer rate, like obviously people are buying multiple products. So like we can keep getting people to come back and buying, spending more, and that'll just give you more and more data to learn about your audience anyways. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially what we do is, this one right here, all people who purchased from the product said below in the last 14 days. I mean, we can change this to, um, a longer period, but we need to do some like analytic research on like where are these, how, when these people are returning, how long it takes them to return. Do you know those things? Like what the average time it takes is until somebody makes their second purchase? Yeah, not too sure. Yeah. So the quickest way to do it is just go to the individual users who've bought multiple products and see the time difference in between each purchase they were making. So like if it's, 10 days or if you're noticing it takes people a month to come back stuff like that but um okay. essentially what you could do here is let's go back to the ads just change it to 28 28 days okay i don't know why it's doing that they have the one there there it goes and then um Is it supposed to be worldwide? Uh, I usually do it worldwide, um, okay. but they're fine with it though. Okay. Cool. And then uh, for the ad, what you do here is what are the main products that they sell on this site? So, um, the main ones is obviously sanitizers, but we can't promote sanitizers. Um, take a look at the best sellers. The best sellers, they got like a lot of different products. Um, they sell every. They sell a lot of products. The golden oil is pretty good too. This is a very popular product. Um, the subscription boxes I was telling you about. This is pretty. This this eye roller is pretty pretty popular. Um, these are the best sellers, I would say. Um, so what category would this be? Face, face collection. This be is this like co cosmetics or, um, what does this fall under? Yeah. Cosmetics, skincare. Um, yeah. The good thing is they sell a little bit of everything. These guys, like if you take a look here, they have body oils, bath and shower face. It's, it's all under the cosmetics category. I would say. 
Yeah. So like, let me give you an example for a dynamic for what would work in terms of cross selling. Let's say you're like, they're selling cosmetics. So like it, it would be like makeup bag, feeling a little light. That would be like the line. And then it would show them like different products for people who've already purchased from them, but it's saying a little light because they might've already used the product that they bought previously. Like, you know, people like buy those things, but this stuff runs out. So they might repurchase or they might realize, okay, I have one product for them. I love it, but they never ended up buying again. So this is the opportunity to get them reengaged in purchasing multiple products. So like make a bag feeling a little light would be one of those scenarios where you would get a high return because lots of people are coming back and purchasing after that. Makes sense. This is similar because it's like body oils and essentials and stuff like that. But like, we have to think of a line that makes sense for like, you know, um, what it would be for why somebody would come back. Right. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Anything come to mind? Yeah. Uh... Running low on it, like uh, body essentials or anything like that. Mm hmm. I don't know. I'll tell you the truth. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still new to the account. I mean, um, <laughs> I don't know. No worries. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, look at their products. There should be a category for what the collection is. This is the easy way to know. So these, well, that's actually what they're called on the site as well. Um, Yeah. So, I mean, like they cover a lot of different spaces, so it's kind of hard to have something that's like one fits all. Yeah. They just show, show me different things. Okay. So in this case, you would have to do a, you'd have to do it specifically per collection, like body, uh, like body essentials, face essential stuff like that be more specific with it, you know? Um, but like, here's an example. Like if we go to, because they have a lot of people visiting the site, you know? Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a good chance of getting a lot of sales on the retargeting side. Okay. Oh. So here's an example here. Let's just look at this. Like right here, exactly what I was saying up earlier, make a bag feeling a little light. Uh -huh. This is a dynamic ad. They lifted it by 5.8 X increase in return. Right. So like, that's big. More people purchased. And it's that simple. People who've already bought products, but now are running out. And you're getting a bunch of rebuys. Makes sense? Yeah. Like like targeting repeat customers pretty, pretty much, right? Yeah. That'll get a huge return. Because like, those are the people who are already like, love the stuff. All right. So that gets you a lot more sales. And that gets you more data to continue using for your ads. So what do you suggest? Are you, like, um, cause I mean, are we able to do like collections? Are we able to like maybe cross out them different collections or I don't know what's the best approach. 
Yeah, uh, you can do like the different ones for the uh, catalog. Yeah. You can honestly, like, look here. Uh, another thing is like running low on your favorite items. That's another one. Like, it's that simple. All right. Where is the description here? I can't even find it. We passed it. Oh, it's a big lag now. You want to go ahead and type it in. Yeah, there's a big connection issue on my end. So just do like uh, run, running low on your favorite items or running low on our favorite items. It'd probably be your, yeah, there you go. Is there a discount code you have? Welcome, just welcome. For oh, okay, well that wouldn't work because these people have already purchased. Um. Yeah, so just leave that. Just put a question mark, leave it at that. See more URL can be the home page. And just use the home page. Yeah. I mean, that's just to see more. I mean, you don't have to really worry about people clicking that too much. And then uh and then what you're gonna do is go to the carousel and then just make sure that uh we and put the correct, hit the little edit icon on that. You want to make sure we, this one? yeah, it's the product headline and all that other stuff that's important. Yeah. And then the headline would be the product description, name, And then in the description, you could do like the price or you could do uh, you could do the actual description on the site. It doesn't really matter too much here. Okay. Yeah, and that's that. And um, should, we, should we even put a discount code in there or? Only if it's not a welcome because these people have already purchased, right? So I should build something maybe like um, specific. Should I entice them with fifteen percent? I can. I mean, I could build it right now after the call, but like. Um, yeah, you could do like ten, like loyal ten percent or loyal fifteen percent. Yeah. Loyal ten, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Interesting. And here I'm just gonna do shop more, and uh, just basically like just cross sell, and and this just basically like um, it's still gonna be like a carousel style kind of um. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you're showing them stuff they probably haven't purchased or maybe they have, but they're just restocking. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I can set this up. Let's see. Um, and the deep links, is it is it necessary to put anything in deep links here? Or That's is only just... if you have an app. Oh, so I just leave that, right? Yeah, do they have an app? No, I don't think so. Okay, no. yeah. So only that only, uh, like if some companies have apps for purchasing, like Zara, stuff like that, where you go on their app, buy their stuff, that deep link would take them to the app rather than to the website. Gotcha. Let me try publishing this and then fix it, fix, fix the discount code later. Um, nice. What else I got here? Um, oh yeah, one thing that happened, um, like I think, couple of weeks ago was that there's a huge drop off in the performance. Like, um, I want to show you something real quick. Um, like it just tanked. We did like, two, what, there's, there's a day where we did like a 10 in terms of ROAS. We did like $2,200 off of $200 spent. And it just like tanked. Like this one day right here, J July 12th. Um, July 13, I kept things constant and then the next day it just plummeted and then, yeah, I should probably send out an email, uh, with a, an happened. offer. Yeah. It's probably an email with an offer. Email with an offer. 
Yeah, that's typically what those are when you see those big jumps. It's like a it's like a three day campaign where they're sending out a ton of offers around that time. Yeah, they had a forty percent off sale on the site, and then I I was running some ads, and then I got a bunch of sales, and then next day nothing. I got yeah. like one for the next day. Yeah, it's probably because they're running a separate campaign outside of that. You think so? And and it helps Facebook. That yeah, helps. of course. Yeah, because it's a lot more data, so it's able to get a lot more optimizations. And likely the people who purchased from the list had seen some of the ads. So it got attributed to the ad itself. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. And um, what's your take on this type of copy, by, by the way? I've, uh, I've been working with some new copy here. It's kind of like bold text kind of copy. So I'll, uh, I'm, not sure. I'm not a fan of it anymore just because it doesn't show the same way on every device. Like if you go look on a device outside of iOS, it might show like block letters. Have you ever seen block letters before? Like where it's like a black box? Mm, is it similar to this or? No, it's like a black box. That's all it is. It's just a black square. Black it square replaces app? the letters with the black square because some devices, if they're too outdated or they're not a iOS or if mm -hmm. they have some weird update on their phone, it won't load the text. Right. No, I don't, I don't think I've seen that before. No. Yeah. Well, on some devices, it'll show that way. Right. And so this, this type of style, you don't think is, is not as not recommended? Not unless the bulk of the buyers are all super tech savvy and have their stuff always updated on iOS. Yeah. Otherwise, you might be showing this to people who have like, they won't even be able to read the text in some cases. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a device you could view it on that's not fully updated in iOS? No. Yeah, I I was just trying it out because I I saw this ad a couple of times and um, oh, I was just seeing if this might might work. But um, no, the the results on this one wasn't that great. It was actually compared to the the regular text. Um, this one actually did worse. So, gotcha. Your thoughts. Um. Let me see what else I got here. Do you think, what do you think about automated rules? Should I put rules here or no? You think I guess in the beginning, this is just spending $200. No, not, yet. not until it's working really well. Yeah. Like maybe oh. pass a thousand dollars a day. Maybe start worrying about rules. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, let's see what else. And, and one more question is, um, I know for e-commerce, they need to look at like break-even numbers, um, like break-even CPA, break-even ROAS. Like, do you, given that they have so many different products, what do you think? Do you, do you think I should, when it comes to like optimizing the account, looking at break-even numbers? Always. Or, yeah, go based off break-even. The thing is, like, how would I figure that out though? Because they have so many different products. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, that's a problem, right? That's a big problem. So, yeah, that's really complicated because I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Some, some products break evens are different. So like in that case, if you're going to do that, just how you have it split out by campaign, which products mm -hmm. you would keep it that way. And then you just have a tally for like what the break even row as would be. Mm -hmm. Right. So just track it by product, like by, by campaign. And then obviously yeah. If the owner says three is better then we, we track average three, but it's not, it's never precise, right? It's always just like ballparking, I guess. Yeah. You'd have to go by product in that case. Yeah. Unless you only stuck to one product in the account. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and in terms of like metrics, right? When it, when it comes to like a ATCs, ICs and website purchasers, uh, web, web, uh, view content, things like that. What do you think I should be looking for? Should, like, like in terms of maybe like a 10% I would just look at the return on ad spend and purchases. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's nice to know sometimes if there's like any early action happening on it, like add to carts and checkouts initiated. But I mean like really for the most part, it's only like purchases and row ads that are being, that are getting their attention. Okay. Just yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, so I guess I'll focus on adding one ad here, one ad here. They build another thing for subscription boxes, set up the 
DPAs and the retargeting. Just leave it the way it is right now. Yeah. Leave it. Leave well, it like turn off that other one. Yeah, no, I think turn this one off, right? This turn one this doesn't. One off. Turn yeah. this one off and just keep the DPAs? Yeah, that, that's right. Okay. Okay, interesting. Maybe like somewhere down the line when I get more money, maybe like maybe ex maybe build back up the ATCs and all that. Or yeah, you could certainly test it. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I'll try this out for now and I'll see how it works out. Um, Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Well, cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see how the results turn out. Awesome, Chase. Um, thank you so much for your help, man. I appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem at all. Alrighty. Bye, Kenneth. Bye, bye.